See you then. Thanks, Carlos. Well, a bittersweet moment for hunters tonight as this year's gun deer season comes to a close at dusk. It was a record-breaking year, but not the type anyone wants to see. NBC15's Lauren Winfrey takes a look at gun safety, what may have caused most, if not all, of this year's hunting deaths. Some say it's better than a holiday. It's a great part of being in Wisconsin. It's, I love it. So better than Christmas. Gun deer hunting is an invigorating sport, and safety can sometimes take a back seat. You have to be really careful not to get caught up in the excitement of shooting at a deer, and always, always, yeah, always, always, always have to be safe. Wisconsin's nine-day deer hunting season ends today, and it's on record as the state's deadliest in the past five years. Of course, wearing orange and remaining visible at all times is one of the safest things any hunter can do. All those things that we learn basically in hunter ed and, and through hunter safety, but we really want to be visible when we're out there. A lot of times people aren't, are failing to see the hunters or the people that are behind them. But these safety precautions don't just apply to deer hunters. I know that some of the people that did get killed this year were because of unsafe gun handling. One was the gun was loaded. Um, one was unsure of the target. This season ended a three-year-long period without any hunting gun deaths. Reporting in Maisalmany, Lauren Winfrey, NBC 15 News. The Wisconsin DNR says this season hunters violated some of the most fundamental rules of gun safety.